Um, I'm here to talk about um, creativity because this is the work that I do, it's what I write about and it's about the workshops that I lead and the coaching that I do is to support people to be more creative in their lives. And by creativity, um, we generally think about creativity as being um, you know, artistic expression, dancing, writing, painting, which of course it is. Um, but I um, use creativity in a broader sense of how it is we express ourselves in this world, and this can be in any form, in the words we use when we talk to somebody else, in the way in, w in, the, in, the way in which we choose our life, you know, where we live, what relationships we have, um, and how our life looks. And to me, um, deep creativity is really about um, aligning um, how our life is and how we express ourselves with who we really are. So our, our kind of core authenticity. Um, and I'll tell you a bit of a story about myself. Um, <laughs> um, to kind of help you understand where I'm coming from with this. So um, I had a, an upbringing quite similar to many people where I was, became very good at conforming and um, doing what I knew I needed to do in order to be loved and I became very good at school and sport and I went to university, um, I got a job as a management consultant and I was ticking all the boxes in terms of success um, and status and money. Um, but I'd find myself, I found myself at the age of about 27 feeling really depressed um, and I would be sitting in meetings at work talking um, to clients about how to develop a marketing strategy and I would sit there and think, what is the point of all this? I'm just helping people, rich people get richer. I'm helping myself get richer. I've got, you know, I've got the status and the, and the success that I thought I, I wanted, but I felt empty um, and I didn't know why. And I didn't know how to fill myself up. Um, and that kind of took me on a journey, firstly through psychotherapy, and then I, I decided to go traveling to just get away from it all and hopefully find myself. Um, and that took, um, I wouldn't say I found myself completely yet. You know, life is a journey and I'm still on it as, as we all are. Um, but um, what um, I realized um, as I was trying to find my purpose in life, um, trying to follow different spiritual traditions or gurus, which are very helpful, um, but it wasn't giving me any idea about what it was I wanted to be doing with my life. So um, through a number of years of kind of traveling and spiritual inquiry, um, it wasn't until I really got into um, pottery and I picked up a piece of clay. And as I worked with the clay, what I realized was the difference between the, the clay as a lump of clay and the clay as a pot or a sculpture was my input, how I pinched and moved it. And I realized that what I was doing was quite different to what everybody else was doing. And part of me didn't like that, but part of me realized that, that this was actually my un unique way. Um, this was how I was um, creating something that came from me. And I realized that I had a unique signature way of, of making pots. And that for me was a great metaphor for life, is that I realized that like a lump of clay, I could mold my life into anything I wanted, but it was down to me, into how I felt, how I was curious with the clay, how, how I felt inspired to move it, what really kind of brought me joy about the work with the clay. Um, and so um, that really kind of, got me really excited about creativity and how I could be creating my life in a way that um, was much more about me. And so that was, that was really giving priority to the things that I felt curious about. So color is one thing. Um, <coughs> and writing and painting, things that I'd never been taught that I should do when I was younger, but things that really resonated with me uh, inside. And that took me on to, um, setting up my business about three, three years ago um, called Potent Creatives, which helps other people on their creative art to understand what it is that's unique to them and how they can express that. Um, so I, um, I, 
I guess what I'm trying to say is that um, by f there are, there's really kind of, for me, there's two games in life. Uh, there's the game that I played before, which is about how to conform to what others expect of us, how to kind of conform to society. Um, and then there's the game of how to follow your soul. And for me, that's about whether we follow our fears or our ego or whether we follow our soul, which is about what excites us, what brings us joy, what um, makes us happy. And inevitably, as we follow our soul, as, as we've heard a lot th this evening, is fears will come in. But we have to keep pushing those fears, pushing those comfort zones. And that is where, how we expand. And um, that's why I'm here. Um, and um, what I really believe is as we follow our soul, the universe really will support us. And, and, and that's been evident in my life over the past two or three years. In that, although financially there were big worries about quitting my career, um, I've, I'm on my second book. I published a book last year. Um, and I'm doing the work that I love. And I'm really excited about where that might lead. Okay, thank you.